Hi Psychic America, this is Tracy Brown coming to you today. I think today might be the 20th, I might be wrong, but it doesn't really matter. I'll post it today and then it'll, like YouTube puts the date on anyway. Got a couple of things to run through. One, I'm going to run through, I was going to do the view, but I forgot why. Because I already, thought I already did the view. I was going to do something on the view. You know, I literally have to write things down now. And then I was going to do something else. Oh, I wanted to see if Scotland was going to break away from the UK. Go Scotland. Go blue and white. Um, and it's already like 12 o'clock in the U.S. So they might be done over there. <laughs> They're probably already like decided. But I'm going to do it anyway. And then... If it comes out beforehand, then I'll just say I predicted it. <laughs> Who cares? Um, but right now, I'm going to do Ray Rice. <laughs> I wasn't going to do Ray Rice because uh, I didn't want to. And then I wasn't going to do his wife because I didn't want to. I did do Roger Goodard to see if he would be able to keep his job. And boy, Twitter, you people are killing Roger Goodard. <laughs> He doesn't resign. He's just going to die from Twitter threats. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Um, my favorite is hashtag fire Roger Goodart. In any case, Ray Rice, um, you, put through your, you put through your appeal process on Tuesday. And will you win the appeal? That's what I'm going to check. Will Ray Rice win his appeal? Will Ray Rice win his appeal? I talk too much. I'm trying not to talk as much as I normally talk. <laughs> oh, by the way, call me at the Green Man store. Oh, and by the way, thank you for everyone that has been calling and getting their own personal readings. So honored. Thank you. Thank you so much. For those of you that haven't called or have been scared to call, don't be scared. <laughs> It's 818-985-2010, 818-985-2010. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get all the updates. And also, um, join me on Twitter, at Pop Culture Psychic. Join me. In any case, what am I doing? Ray Rice, will you win your appeal? Will Ray Rice win his appeal? I'm going to pull four because I pulled two together. Will Ray Rice win his appeal? Oh, I'm also trying not to give too much commentary because I found when I give commentary that people think it's my opinion. Like the readings get confused when I give too much commentary. And then if I give my opinion and then the reading turns out similar to my opinion, then people are like, oh, you're giving your opinion. I'm not trying to give my opinion. I'm trying to give you the psychic view. Oh, by the way, remember people, I'm the, wait, remember I'm the psychic for the people. <laughs> And I usually do these on Tuesdays, but oh my God, like, I don't know if anybody knows this out in America land or internationally, we Californian had a heat wave that was going to kill people and I was mortally affected by it. So, you know, my intentions was to do it Tuesday, my intentions was to do it Wednesday, and then I couldn't do it. <laughs> heat wave tried to kill me. In any case, huh. Ray. Hmm. Ray, where's my glasses? Ray. Huh. Hmm. Ray, will you get your... Oh, dear. Hmm. Will he win the appeal process? Oh, dear, Ray. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I was pretty confident that Ray was going to win his appeal process prior to doing, um, pulling the cards just now. I was pretty confident about that. The cards are telling me no. It's not going to be that easy for him. Um, I, I'm shocked. I'm shocked at my own reading because I think he has a right to get his job back. I do, people. I don't think he should be losing his job. Um, I, I don't. I, I, it's all, like, for me, it's almost like going to prison. And the Trapped in Fear card says that. Like, it's almost like going to prison where 
somebody does something bad, you send them to prison, but there's no rehabilitation. And part of Ray, like, coming, like, being a really good member of society, let's just say that, not, not even just, what the hell happened here? Not even just a good husband, just being a real good member of society. He can't do that without money, people. He can't do that without his job. He also can't do it in a format where, like, where he, that he doesn't love. And he loves, loves, loves um, football. He loves playing football. He loves football. He loves being praised. And, you know, that all of that was taken from him, which is unfortunate. So with that being said, I personally believe that he should have his job back. Um, Ray, I think you're kind of stupid. I really do. I don't think you're the brightest pickle, but maybe that's very typical of football players. That's why all you idiots are getting into trouble right now. Listen, I've never really been into football. And then I do this radio show where I have a co-host, and I'm finally, like, like out of all the sports, football is the one I don't do very well. And I'm finally in my, like, like, mm, like, like looking at football and looking at, like, the play, like, differently, because... My version of football and knowing about it is the cute uniforms and the cute butts. But now I'm trying to look at it from a very technical playing stance. Can't. I can't. The first time I get to enjoy football is all the scandal. What the hell? Oh, my God. What the hell? Oh, by the way, if you want the dialogue, R Roger Goodall, to change in football, hiring those four women are not going to do it. It's just not. Men have to change. Their language has to change. And thank you, James Brown, for sticking up for us. Um, and somebody else. I forget. Oh, God, I never do my homework. A couple of, couple of you guys are like, in order for football to change and men to change, we got to get these guys um, off the teams and attack the individual so that the up-and-coming ones... You want, you want some female advice, Ray, uh, Roger Goodard? Get rid of the ones that are causing a problem so that the ones that are coming out of college, the little... Pee Wee League, you know, the high school or that's where the shit starts, starts in high school, will begin to assess that their behavior needs to change. They can't be these obnoxious jocks that they start out in high school and then they go into college and they come out like these superheroes already. In any case, you didn't need four women to do that. What you needed was to understand that the language of men have to change. Men follow men. Come in. Okay, I can't, are you going to read Oh, okay. I was like, can't tell she's agreeing. Um, are you coming to the seance on October 3rd? No. No? No, because the next week is um, the fair. It's the next week or the week after that? It doesn't matter. It's too much energy. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. 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 I think you have enough people coming anyway. It's up to you. Okay. Up to you. Okay. 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 Cool. Bye. In any case, um, men have to change. And so a lot of these commentators are coming out and supporting, you know... The, the the aggressive tone they're like they're going like they're saying the aggressive tone of men need to change if the aggressive tone of men need to change this is the only way you're going to do it you attack their money you protect an NFL you protect the football league you protect the owners you protect the teams you get rid of these guys and I'm not in agreement with anybody losing their jobs but today today people have to go so let's get rid of the ones that are causing some major ugly for the NFL. Let's teach the up-and-coming ones what good male behavior is supposed to be. And let's keep it moving. So that we're now raising really good men. In any case, getting back to Ray Rice, I really need to let that out. <laughs> hire me, Roger Goodard. And, uh, hire me. <laughs> you should hire me. In any case, Ray, I just don't see you getting your job back. I don't see it. There's an answer to your question that's bigger than you realize. Ray, there is, there's a couple of reasons why you're not going to get your job back. One, you don't truly believe you've done anything wrong. You just don't. Um, the dark side of you is more prevalent, higher than the good side of you. It really is. There's going to be a dance. They're going to play with you and dance with you. But the more trouble that the NFL other players get into, the more you have a hard time getting back your job, unfortunately. Um, I see you, like, standing off at the side, like, waiting for the answer, and 
like kind of not scared, but you're counting your your money, and you're like, if I don't get my job back, I'm in trouble. I'm so in trouble. The answer to your question, Ray, actually is in the hands of a woman. The answer to your question literally is in the hands of a woman. It's PR, I believe. It's about changing. I think you can... It's Maybe it's not about getting your job back, but it's maybe about standing in the forefront of male change. Like, maybe that's what the real answer is. Trust me, Ray. Trust me. Listen... It, it's not really about getting your job back. It is about being a spokesperson for domestic violence. And not for women, but for the responsibility of men. I, if you trust me, that's the direction you need to go into. More than to think that you can get your job back. Um, I think that if you did it that way, I think you could wind up like just really making a career out of this and making a difference. I don't really see you listening to me. I really don't. I, I, I think you're, you're mad at women. I really do. I think you're one of those guys that's just mad at women. And I don't think you're going to get that this direction is the direction to go into. And I also think that... Um, oh, Ray, you're not going to get your job. <laughs> oh, you don't win the appeal processes. And I don't know how many steps it's going to take. You don't win it. Maybe, you know... This initial process, you, you, you're just not going to get. You're not. The partnerships that you've had, this is my past card, is in the past. Um, this is a hidden path card. And if you could understand, like, one is your football career, but another is a whole nother career, Ray, that could change the way America looks at domestic violence. That's where you should be going into. So, I'm sorry. I'm going to end this. I could, you know, take another three minutes telling you the same thing. Ray, it's not going to happen. Don't be stupid. You know, there's something foolish about you. Something a little dunce. I feel like putting a dunce hat on your head because you, all you can see is football. Change the way you look at, you know, your direction, your life, your career. And make lemonade out of lemons. All right, Ray. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I, you know, I hate to deliver bad news, but oh well. This is Psychic Tracy Brown. Um, call me at the Green Man Store, 818-985-2010. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. I love you guys. Thanks. Bye.